Hello YouTube and welcome to Bahrain in the F1 2014 game from Codemasters. At the moment we are in Q2 and about to prove ourselves in this McLaren to the rest of the world what we can do. Well, fingers crossed anyway, that's the plan. Um, but we are currently out of pace, I think, in Q3, or Sector 3, rather. Um, so I don't think we're going to make it through, hence why we're uh, recording Q2 for a change instead of Q3. Um, so we're just going to go straight to some flying laps, uh, down into rich mode as we come down into the last corner um, so we need to get some good speed as we come out to get the maximum top speed end because it does increase or affect the other end of the um, track so breaking heavily down to second gear before it comes into a tight flick to the right and then you've got to be careful as you come through this corner as it does lose grip as you can see the rear end just try to get away there so you really do need to be careful when you put your foot back down onto the gas. Um, but a long straight now, down to third gear, just let the car just carry the speed through this corner and slowly put the gas back on as well. A very slippery track this. There's a lot of high speed corners and also a few hairpins to go along with it, which is nice. So, um, I mean, in obviously it's now a night race compared to where it used to be. Um, it's a bit confusing, it looks more like a wind farm. <laughs> um, with all the with all the, the lights, you know, sticking out in the air, it looks a bit confusing. Um, but it's not really much light or or what I expected for it to be projected onto the track, so it looks a bit strange. Um, but never mind. Back to the actual lap itself. So the AI are consistently faster in sector two than I am, but I'm quite even with them when it comes to sectors 3 and 1 um, so I think I'm second slow and it's because of that corner as you come down and flick to the left before you get the DRS activation um, it's that corner there that gets me out I don't really haven't mastered it yet in this car um, used to be really good at it in the other cars but this one's a bit strange that's a 135.5 um, which is not going to be good enough they're all on 134s I do believe yeah Hulkenberg instantly goes faster even though he's behind me um, he probably had the slipstream, but he did a 134.6, so there we go, we're what consistently a second slower throughout the entire race, which is all down to that bloody Sector 2. Um, so, I don't think we're going to be able to get through to Q3. If we do, then it would be absolutely amazing, but uh, I don't think so. But we're point four seconds faster than our last lap. Holy shit. That's different. It's this corner here. This corner is no grip whatsoever. And a bit of a pain. But we did it quite nicely that time. You just got to be careful when you put your foot back down again. It really does like to um, wheel spin. This corner is really nice as well. We come up through the left hand corner and it goes uphill. I love that bit. But because of that sector 2, we're now down on our last lap. Just goes to show how much you actually use. And we just lost it there, which has ruined the entire lap. I do believe. Yeah, 134, 135. Oh no, it's slightly faster, somehow. Oh, I must have really screwed up that last sector if it was faster than the last one. We'll do one more lap, I think, if this goes well, that is. It's going to be faster, I hope so. No, it's not. Whoa! That really didn't like that, did it? Went up on the curb a bit on the right-hand side, and it just decided to eat the car something just trying to drag it in oh I nearly 
Maybe he lost it there again. Obviously these tyres are starting to give, I think. Or either that or I'm trying so badly to um, try and get it through. Yeah, we're going to come in now into the pit lane. We've had enough. Uh, but we are in 10th place overall with Verne in 11th and Perez in 9th. So a bit of a bad performance here from the McLaren and myself. I think Jensen Bunt's probably way in the top 10. We'll soon find out if we're competitive in terms of his times. Fingers crossed. I hope so. Because if I do better than him, at least it's not a total embarrassment. Please. Where's button? Where's button? He's third. He's in a 134.2. Holy. Sorry. Gonna have a heart attack. Oh, sweet Jesus. Fuck that shit. I ain't, I ain't staying that far behind. I at least want to get into 134s just to kind of save my dignity. I forgot to change the tyres. So we're on scrub tyres. Oh, we can do this. We can do it. We just need to be a bit more smooth. That's all. We can gain at least three tenths if we're just smooth. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Car spinning. Just let the other cars go by, it's not fair on them. Yeah, fuck you, button. You go through. Button is wondering if he's going to get a seat in McLaren next year. And I don't see why they would get rid of him, to be honest. I mean, I understand Alonso is looking at the seat, but why not get rid of Magnussen? And everyone's going to go, oh, but he's young and he's in shape a lot more and he'll last and they can develop his skills. To be honest, we've got half the points that fucking Button has. I mean, I know that people think that Button isn't isn't that good of a driver. To be honest, he's not very deserving of his of his seat. Most people say that he only won because of the car that he had. But then again, wasn't that true for everyone? The whole point of being a driver is obviously being able to control the car because it's that good. So you're going a lot faster. You still need to have a lot of skill to control it. I think he's deserving of his world championship title. And secondly. And every single champion that he's been alongside of, i.e. Hamilton and whatnot, he's pretty much been on par with them throughout the entire season, only missing out by like a few points. So, to say that Button's time is up in Formula 1, I think is uh, a bit unfair. Um, but he deserves a top team when he comes to Formula 1. I know he's getting in my way, but I, I said some nice things about you. Don't fuck my lap up, you, you dude! You little dick. You utter, utter arsehole. I just said some nice things about him. And what did he do? Boy, I was going to block his, block his way through Bahrain. Through the most important sector of them all. What a knob. Yeah, yeah, Alonso can take a seat now. Alon Go on, Alonso, take the seat. Three minutes to go. I don't think we're going to be able to do it on these tyres. These things are more worn. Whether to go for another lap or not.
Oh, that was nice. No skiddy skiddy. Well done. Thank fuck for that. Don't skid. Oh, that was close. Probably lost a lot of time there, though. Ah, oh, screw this. Shit. Oh, you don't say. I've got a little flat wobbly tyre. It was a good tyre. I did test out the animation and the physics of it all, I guess. So we'll see how this car handles now with no front wing in the tyre. Could do a faster sector with it. Show them all. Oh, wow, we won't even turn that much. Jesus. So if you want some advice when it comes to this game, don't get a flat tyre. And don't crash. That's bad for the car. Oh my god, what is that noise? <laughs> that was the weirdest tire school noise I've ever heard. <laughs> what the hell is that? Oh my god. I challenge the tire to be tortured. Oh my god. Well done, Code Masters. Well done. You have made the best screeching tire noise. And how comes he gets. I can't stop it for fucking shit going just 20 miles an hour slow and he gets to stop it from god knows how much to hit limito in a few seconds. But we've come 11th, so we're out of Q, Q3. We didn't make it through. Um, so it wasn't too bad of a session to be honest, obviously we're just outside the top 10. Upside, we get to choose some brand spanking new tyres Come the race when it comes around. But I will see you guys in the race. Welcome back, here we are on the starting grid, 11th place, got some brand new tyres of options. So hopefully we're going to be able to get this in quickly, so here we go. Revving the first gear, watching the other cars just fly by because I can't get a good start. The temperature gauge is going insane on those rears, um, but we just kind of back out for that. It takes 12th place, we've lost one place down, but we're going to go down on the inside and come around. Bottas is on the left hand side with our team at just button in the middle, and look all these cars coming through the first few corners. And the two Mercedes in front, and then they all come around the corners, and they're squirreling in between the middle pack there, where me and Jutton are kind of just trying to make our way and get on the racing line. A bit of contact through the button to my teammate, and we come out into ninth place, so we're already up by one position, but it's a bit chaotic on those starting few corners. So coming through the middle sector now, a button and still retaining that gap. Gets away a bit there, but Bottas is now behind us, so Williams has really lost out in, in that start. We've got Massa up ahead in front of the two McLarens and Ferrari, I don't know which driver that will be, but he's in front of us. So coming down to the second sector now, my worst corner of the entire track. Um, the button seems to get away quite a bit here, due to the fact that I don't know how to drive. Um, so coming up to fifth gear, seventh gear, we don't have DRS enabled as of yet, obviously. Bottas is still keeping quite tight on our, on our, on our tails, but two, three cars go through and it's high speed. Power through the way, and we're getting closer to button as we come up through the last sector three, and we dive down the inside to get past. That was a nice manoeuvre, nice and clean, and he can't do anything to actually defend that. So now the next person in the front is going to be Massa. Put up to rich mode as we come down onto the long straights, and we're already starting to gain a bit of ground from the slipstream of his back car. So obviously we don't have DRS yet. That will be coming in a few laps, but he's going to pretty much be a sitting duck if we can get as closer to him. Button is 0.3 seconds behind, so he's not giving up as of yet. 
But look at the speed and this McLaren just coming past down on the inside. I don't know how that slipstream advantage must be huge because actually we're both in Mercedes engines and God knows what happened there, but Massa was just not going anywhere, anywhere fast. And Button takes advantage of that situation as well, and he's up into eighth. So coming down to the second sector now, and Hulkenberg is up next in sixth place with Ferrari. He's just taken him over, and we are coming in hot. Obviously, these new option tyres appear to be working, so I might come 11th or even 10th and then just not qualify on purpose more often, because at least then we get some brand new tyres, because everyone else seems to be struggling in terms of tyre wear while I'm on brand new rubber. But Bottas takes back 8th place from Button. He's dropped behind as we come through the end of Sector 2 and coming up to Sector 3 now. Obviously, we are expecting quite a large gap to appear when we come through Sector 2 because obviously we suck at that sector. But as we come up the hill once more... I think I left my car in rich mode, which is not good, considering we don't use much of the power through the rest of the lap. Um, so, slap on the wrist for me. Because we will need that later on, more likely to be on the straights rather than anything else. So, DRS is now a go. Um, we're going to go in standard mode, which we should have done last lap. And look at the amount of ground we've just made just coming up on the backside of Hockenberg. AI really does not like their first corner compared to me. So obviously we've got an advantage in sector two, and, uh, one and three, and they've got an advantage in sector two, which is how they're getting all these 134 lap times. Um, so if we need to take advantage of focus and do really well in these sectors and just basically do damage limitation when it comes to the middle of the circuit each lap. But we're 0.1 seconds, so we're gaining slightly, slowly but surely, on the back of Hulkenberg's car. It's probably because there's quite a bit of traffic there having to clump up when they come to major corners and hairpins, whereas I am not, I'm basically just, you know, as if it's qualifying. Oh, and the car nearly snaps to the left there. That's because the curb has a little ditch in the middle of it. I don't know if you could see that. If you rewind it, you can do. Um, but I think my tyre just went in the middle of there and I just gassed it. And Jesus, we almost just need to fly off there as well. So that's some really snappy behaviour from this car. And Raikkonen has just slowed down completely, but we're going to come around the inside of that. We're not having, we're not going to let him do that so easily. And that's an easy place for us. Thanks to Hulkenberg's manoeuvre, Raikkonen just decided to have a cup of tea on the apex. But now we are in to lap four, and we come across the line, and we are in the slipstream of Hulkenberg. Not making much of an advantage because he's got the slipstream of the car in front as well. As we come down, it's a dive down on the inside, and we've managed to make it stick. And Raikkonen looks like to be fighting with Hulkenberg as they come through the last corners. And here comes McLaren, and, and it's gone through. So Hamilton is up next in fourth place. I can't believe we're making so much ground here, even though we were showing so little pace in qualifying. Um, we're whole second down on average per race, but I guess the fuel loads changed that along with the tyres. Just goes to show how much we are pushing this car or how much the other cars are suffering one or the two um, and we almost lose it there as we come through that corner the back end is trying to get on holiday and tries to spin us around just taking it nice and easy to come through these corners Hulkenberg really does catch up on that corner there as expected so as before it's just going to be damage limitation um, there's a bit of frame rate issues actually I've noticed that since we had that little cinematic episode um, so I'm not really sure. If, I hope that's going to go. Um, but I do apologise for the frame rate. Oh, jeez, another one there. Stop jumping. It's not fair. Think of the viewers. Think of the children. I'm not saying that all you guys are children. It's just saying that. And Alonso. Alonso is now the next Ferrari. We could actually take both Ferraris. Come on, Alonso. And standard mode, we are we going to make it be able to stick? Oh, Jesus! Oh, there's no contact. 
but we make it through. We're on the inside line. And Hulkenberg's fighting as well, once again. This is a great camera shot as well. I love this. And another cinematic for you to show him the back of my helmet. And as we come down to the second sector now, the second sector starts. And now, and we are point three seconds behind, but that's obviously because we're fighting with Alonso in the first, the first sector. That's good. Causes a bit of a delay. Um, but as we come through up the hill once more, there's a lot of elevation in the track. I've never really taken notice of it before, but it's quite nice in how it flows. Um, especially for this first sector. The third sector's got to be my favourite. Simply because it's got that left hand flick and then goes around to the right. That's got to be the best part because it's just all high speed and you've got this just. It's just mwah, rewards you when you get it right. So Alonso's falling back. What is wrong with the Ferraris in this race? Um, but we are. Hell, we are on fire right now. Ricciardo is up next in third place. And the tyre wear is starting to show. Uh, if that's what my tyres are like, I'd hate to be in their cars right now. Because their tyre wear must be fucked. Oh shit. Almost lost it once again. But there's the two Mercedes cars and Ricciardo up ahead. Um, So Hamilton is in first place, I'm presuming Rosberg is in second, and Ricciardo is in third. But Ricciardo goes down on the inside with Rosberg, and he managed to make it stick. And with East Fruit, no, Rosberg's fighting back, but he's... No, Ro <laughs> Make your mind up, guys. Rosberg is in third place, but Ricciardo is now taking second place. That was an amazing move, and he didn't give it up lightly as well. So people who think that AI don't fight, there's just evidence right there. He was fighting for that place, but he kind of just didn't have the inside line, so Ricciardo just, just took it in the end. But, Jesus, he tried to force him off. Well, not force him off, literally, but he tried to make it stick and, to, and, re, and like retain his second place. But we've got in front of uh, Rosberg now, and we are going to fuck him up um, in terms of his race pace, because there's no way he's going to be able to catch up, and there's no way I'm going to be able to catch up with that Red Bull either. Um, so I've pretty much ruined Rosberg's race, which I feel kind of bad for, if I'm truly honest. But at the end of the day, this is racing. It's my points that are on the, on the line, my career. So fuck you, Rosberg. Sorry to any Rosberg fans out there. It's just a game. Don't worry. Um, but in Bahrain right now, I'm feeling quite happy that I'm in third place. So this is going really well the only reason we got third place I must be honest is because Ricciardo made his move and obviously Rosberg had been punished in terms of his lap time for that so we, we just capitalised on his on his situation so but that's what racing is at the end of the day if you don't like it then go cry to your mummy um, but Hamilton has just gone into the pits we've just overtaken him so we're now in second place Ricciardo takes the lead of this Grand Prix so obviously we're going to go in later than everyone else because we seem to be faster on the option tyre than we are on the prime anyway. That pretty much counts for every race that I'm in. Um, so we're going to try and stay on these brand new sets of tyres as much as we can, although they're not so brand new. Now you can start to see the graining on the front two tyres. Um, they're still quite smooth, um, but in general they're starting to show a bit of wear and tear, um, which is bad news. Um, so you can obviously see it in the handling of the car as well. But nevertheless, we are doing pretty well, I think. Ricciardo is just firing ahead, but Rosberg is still retaining third place, luckily for him. Um, so I don't think we'll be able to win this one in terms of obviously when the pit stops come around. Um, but we're down, we'll get some good points if we can keep this up. Um, also, we're going to try and go as deep into the race as we can with these primes. Uh, sorry, option tyres, um, and then we're going to go switch over to the primes and just try and hold everyone up as we have done before. It seems quite a bit of a tricky track to overtake on. I mean, through the third sector and off the pit straight, it's quite comfy and easy to overtake someone. But other than that, it seems quite difficult to do it for everywhere else. So if we simply just save our fuel for the rich mode on the straight, um, and provided that DRS still holds up on my car this time, um, then hopefully we'll be able to get maybe a podium finish. It's possible. But we take the lead of the Grand Prix. And it looks like Rosberg and the rest of the field has gone in as well. And we are alone out on Bahrain track at the moment. Looking on the mini-map, there's not anyone that's coming up behind either. But it looks like we have been abandoned 
and we are the only car on the Bahrain circuit at the moment that we can see. Well, we're going to go in on this lap now, so obviously we want a nice clear pit lane, which I think we're going to have, and even if they were coming in at this lap, they're going to be nowhere near me. Um, so we won't be affected by any stupid other cars this time. And you can see them on the minimap just on the edge, they're all in the pits and they're all just coming around through sector 2 now. Um, so we've got a massive lead. You can see that, who's that's going to be Hamilton in second place? Yeah, he's, he's not actually that far behind. And Ricciardo's behind him in third, I presume the other car is going to be Rosberg. So there's a, quite a bit of a lead but I don't think it's going to be enough to get jump them both. Um, despite the fact that they are starting to warm up their new tyres I don't think it's going to be anywhere near enough to actually jump into or even retain the third place so we're going to go into rich mode just for the sake of it and um, try and get as much power as we can into these, into these last remaining moments that we have with the nice tyres that we know is option but into the pits we go I'm going to go into lean mode, save as much fuel as we can. I'm pretty sure that Hamilton will be coming down into the pit straight now. Um, as we go, there's the new prime tyres that go on, and out we go. And there goes Hamilton, zooming by, so we're down into second place. Ricciardo will probably be behind as well. Here he comes, and it's a lovely view of the car going out onto the track now. Through the pit lane, just rowing it as much as we can. And down into the first corner, that's Alonso that takes third place. God knows what happened to... Um, Rosberg, but Hulkenberg is behind him fifth now, so we missed out on our third place podium. Ferrari and Alonso get their revenge. Um, but we are down into fourth place. So that didn't really work out as I planned. I was hoping to retain the third place, um, but that didn't seem to really work. Um, so we're in this small little pocket of four now, um, where we're going to be fighting for this fourth place. So some really good points still going here. Um, it's whether or not we can hold them off. We're obviously on cold tyres, the car does not like this at all. Coming down into the second section, you can, see, you can tell the difference in terms of the handling as well with these two different types of tyres. You can hear the tyres screeching as you come down and when you're pushing them to the limit, but obviously with options you get a lot more grip than you would. So, um, yeah. But coming up through the, pots, the last sector again, Hulkenberg is still hot on our tail. Our objective is to come 8th, so we're doing bloody well here. Um, oh, my tail's are harsh. Um, but yeah, we're doing we're doing okay in terms of obviously our pace. Um, a lot better than what I expected to be anywhere. I was expecting to come like 12th or 13th, because that what it usually has, especially when it's on a legendary mode, you just don't have pace compared to the rest of the cars when you've got a, few, a full tank. Um, but at least we've got our tyres back up to temperature now. You've got Red Bull, that looks like Vettel, and then you've got maybe Bottas behind, or Massa, one of the, one the Williams anyway, that are behind, so let's all see the top. If we, even if we if we go off and make a mistake here, that's going to let three cars go by in such a... Oh, Jesus, as soon as I say that, why do that car? So as soon as I say that, I make a mistake, which is nicked good um, to say the least but we managed to um, the cars don't capitalise on it which is nice But tried to come up on the inside there, so it was really close. And then Vettel goes through. Vettel, Hulkenberg backed out, trying to come up on the inside. And then Vettel just thought, I'm coming through, and he just came through. That's exactly how it happened, it's a true story. He said that with those words as well. He said, I'm coming through. And then Hulkenberg knew that he was going to be overtaken at that point. Oh, my chair. Freaking. Like an old woman.
Yeah, definitely don't have as much, as much grip. Bro, I can't get my words out. Oh, but Vettel's trying to go down the inside, but that's my racing line. You can get off that. Um, but we goes back now. Thank God for that, otherwise we would be in real deep shit. Um, but that seems to have worked out nicely. Push D. Oh, tie squirrel. Ah, oh, Vettel's right up my ass because of that now. Didn't like that one bit. And we're going to go deep into this corner. And what's Vettel going to do? He's coming on the left-hand side and he's in the lead. Oh, sh... <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, so we're down to fifth place. Vettel was just taking the next place. Hulkenberg's trying to have a go as well, but he doesn't. And coming up through the left-hand corner, the cars go extremely fast through here. There's another little group with button inside it in the middle as well, so it's pretty much the exact opposite. But coming down to sector three now, Vettel still retaining that lead. We've got to find a way to get back past as we come down to the end of this lap, and we're on lap 11 out of 14, so we're starting to run out of time. So if we're going to catch him, we've got to do it now. Does his car have the pace to hold it off through the last corner onto the pit straight? A bit laggy there, don't like that. But we're going to get DRS for this, this little fella. There we go, it's activated, so we're going to come right through, and the cars go zooming past. Look at that view, and through the inside, breaking down to second gear, the tyres are screeching like mad. Vettel tries to come back again as we fight through the last corner, and onto the straight, and he's still trying to find a way around, but we're holding the racing line, and we've got the best chance of holding it. So that was an amazing little fight we had there in lap 12 of the race, so it just goes to show that we do fight for positions. Um, near the end of the race probably because he has a better car than me to be honest and we did screw up on that second sector as well but just look how much time we've gained just from DRS 0.9 seconds so wow that was pretty quick but Vettel is now back in fifth place get back in his little box um, so that was pretty sweet racing there and he's going to try and do it again hush I'm not going to say that word I'm not going to say shit oh. Oh, I said it. But Bottas, where, where the fuck has Mazza come from? He's now in fifth place. Vettel just kind of backed out from uh, trying to do an overtake, but he decided not to for some reason. He had the advantage. He could have made that, the same maneuver again and could have caused a lot of troubles and made it quite hard for that fourth place again. But he didn't. Massa, he backed out and therefore Massa was able to get the place instead. Um, so, bad move by Vettel. Don't know what caused that. But we're now coming to the end of the lap, of, uh, end of lap 12 now, so we're going to have two laps left. So it's going to be a pretty sweet result if we can hold this. There's a bit of a gap between me and Massa now. Um, doesn't know if it will tell me how far they are. 1.1 seconds, so he's not even going to get DRS activated. Um, so he's pretty much screwed, unless he can get it for the next next lap or so. I mean, it won't be hard for him to get it for, for lap 14 through 62, I don't think. I mean, even now, he's, he's in the one second gap just from that. But he's in no way in a position to make a manoeuvre for the next lap at all. There's no sign of Alonso or the other top three. They're just gone. And all the other cars that were there are seeming to clump up now. So it looks like Button's doing pretty well though. Um, I mean he's in, what is it, if I'm in fourth then he's in seventh place. So he's doing pretty well as well. There's a few points in the back for the McLaren team. Provided he doesn't fuck up in the last few laps. Um, but we're doing pretty well here on the last lap. My rear tyres are cold, boy. It's all right, Bob. I've only got one lap to go. Don't worry. And Massa is definitely in the DRS zone. It depends on what he's going to do here. Because obviously, I've got nothing in front of me. So, rich mode all the way. Trying to just rev the guts out of this thing. We're still on plus one on the last lap, which is unusual. So, we're just going to stay in rich mode on the straights and see how much we can actually gain. Massa has gained a bit of ground from the DRS zone, but not really a lot. Um, which is a bit odd. 
and the car just tries to slide out. He's coming to, tries to go down the left hand side, but doesn't be able to is not able to make it stick. Still good in terms of pace. But Mass is only 0.3 seconds behind as we come down into the last of the second sectors. So as long as we don't make any screw ups here, we've got a four point fourth place finish in the bag. So all oh, the tires are squealing. Try and get it right this time. That's the first time I've done that corner correctly for this entire damn race. Um, but we managed to make it stick and therefore Massa and no one else is flying past. So I just go show that I can do it when I've got someone up my ass. Um, so <laughs> into the third sector now for the last time. We're going for, still managing pace. Point, point zero 0.09 of a second slower. That's nothing. And Lewis Hamilton takes the win in Bahrain once again. Same as this year as well. And God knows what happened to Rosberg, but it's pretty much a Mercedes Red Bull Ferrari win. So it's, it's going to be an interesting season if it carries on like this. Um, but as we come across the line, shaking the wheel in glory, and we get a fourth place. Which is amazing considering the battles we've had in the last half an hour or so of our lives. It's pretty sweet to come forth. So let's see what's going to happen in terms of the results. So obviously Lewis Hamilton comes first with Daniel Ricciardo in second with Fernando in third. Felipe Hamilton and Sebastian Vettel in fifth and sixth with teammate Jensen Button in eighth, uh, seventh rather. Uh, Kimi Raikkonen is in eighth with Sergio Perez in ninth. Nico Hulkenberg rounds off the points in tenth as bad. Valtteri Bottas in 11th with Nico Rosberg in 12th and Daniel Kvyat in 13th, Roman Grosman in 14th, John Eric Vern in 15th with Adrian Sutton in 16th, Maldonado, Kobayashi, Chilton, Bianchi, Ericsson and Gutierrez and that pretty much rounds off everyone in those positions in that order. Um, so let's go over to the Drivers' Championship and we are in second place with one point behind the leader who is Sebastian Vettel. Uh, Lewis Hamilton is close behind with five points and then Daniel Ricciardo is close in tail. So it's a pretty tight championship at the moment with Kimi Raikkonen but Fernando Alonso is kind of nowhere. De teammate Jensen Button's in 10th. Um, the rest of the field is not really. Where's Nico Rosberg? Rosberg is 12th with only two points? Two points to his name. He's not going to be a happy bunny is he? Um, Jesus, I was not expecting that three races in. But in terms of the constructors, the Red Bull retain their lead, and we are second now with 32 points behind, and Scudia Ferrari in third. Mercedes are fourth, and Williams are in fifth. So I hope you guys did enjoy the race. Um, obviously, that was amazing for me. I um, really did enjoy it. If you did like, then please do like and subscribe. It takes a few seconds per button, and it really does help me out a lot starting out this new channel so I really do appreciate your time and I will see you next time